What's up guys, it's Gary here and you are watching G4 Gadget. So today, we are going to review the Honor Magic 5 Pro after using it as my daily driver for one month. First, let's talk about the design and build quality. The Honor Magic 5 Pro has a large camera bump on its back holding three rear cameras. This is why it is slightly heavier on the top than the bottom and you'll need some time to get used to holding the phone. Other than that, the phone feels sturdy, solid and is made of premium materials and it's really good. Like the back, the phone's screen is also curved on the four sides which I'm not a big fan of. The display also has a pill-shaped cutout holding the front camera and 3D depth sensor. I don't like the design of the pill-shaped cutout but uh, it provides a face unlock that is fast, accurate and secure. The 6.81 inch OLED display of Honor Magic 5 Pro is fantastic with HDR10+, 1-120Hz to LTPO and 1800 nits peak brightness. Visibility under the sunlight is not a problem at all and watching content on the phone is a great experience. Under the hood, like every other Android flagship in 2023, the Honor Magic 5 Pro is powered by the latest Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. It is paired with 12GB of RAM and 512GB of UMX 4.0 storage. It is running on the latest Magic OS 7.1 based on Android 13. All these combine into a silky smooth experience, whether scrolling through social media, replying to emails, watching videos, or even playing graphically demanding games. On Geekbench, it scored 1449 on single core and 4384 on multi core, which is pretty darn impressive. We played Genshin Impact with the highest settings and 60 FPS on the Magic 5 Pro with no problem at all. The phone does get a little warm on the back and the display, but it's not until the level of burning your hands or unusable. We got no complaints at all for the Honor Magic 5 Pro's performance. The Honor Magic 5 Pro is equipped with 5100 mAh of battery, charging at 66 watt wired and 50 watt wireless. Although we don't understand why Honor decided to downgrade the charging speed from 100 watt on the Honor Magic 4 Pro to the 66 watt on the Magic 5 Pro. But we are glad that the battery capacity got bigger. The phone can definitely last a whole day on a normal usage, with the screen on time up to 9 hours and some batteries left. With the bundled charger, we managed to charge the phone from 20 to 70% in just 30 minutes and to 100% in just 53 minutes. Moving on to the camera, which is the main focus of the phone, unintended. The Honor Magic 5 Pro has a triple camera setup on its back a 50MP main shooter, a 50MP ultra-wide, and a 50MP periscope telephoto. The front camera is a 12MP shooter. The camera on this phone is really impressive, and the pictures taken from it are sharp and detailed. The colors are rich and vibrant, with a good amount of HDR on both bright and dark photos, as you can see in the samples I'm showing you right now. This time, Honor also eliminated the shutter lag on the Honor Magic 5 Pro, which is very commendable. They also added an AI motion sensing capture, which further increases the shutter speed and can even detect moving objects and snap photos automatically. This doesn't work every time, but it's fun to play with and helpful in a lot of situations. Overall, we have no complaints on the Magic 5 Pro's photo quality. They are definitely one of the best and very flagship grade. The Honor Magic 5 Pro can record 4K videos up to 60 frames per second on the main camera and 30 frames per second on the ultra wide shooter. The quality is great with accurate colors and good contrast. Okay. 
I don't like the fact that there's a 15 minutes limit on the 4K video recording, which is said to prevent overheating. I would prefer that user can control how long they want their video to be and honor to improve on the heat dissipation of their phone. Switching the resolution and the FPS requires the user to tap into the camera setting, which should be done by just putting a button on the camera's UI. Other than that, the Honor Magic 5 Pro is a really great video recording machine. Other features worth mentioning of the Honor Magic 5 Pro is the stereo speakers. They have great quality and comes with great clarity and loudness, especially on the mids and highs, but lacks a little bit on the bass. As I mentioned earlier, the Honor Magic 5 Pro face along is fast, secure and accurate. The same goes to the under display fingerprint sensor. However, the position is a little bit too low and I don't know why Honor decided to downgrade from the ultrasonic fingerprint sensor on the Honor Magic 4 Pro to the optical fingerprint sensor on the Honor Magic 5 Pro. The Honor Magic 5 Pro is also IP68 rated, so no worries about the phone getting wet or dusty. So, is the Honor Magic 5 Pro worth your money? In our opinion, yes it is. It has a great design, a smooth performance, a powerful camera, and even a long-lasting battery life. At 4,299 ringgit, it undercuts a lot of its competitors which are sold at 5 to 6,000 ringgit. We would definitely recommend the Honor Magic 5 Pro to all of you out there who are looking for a flagship phone. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to G4 Gadget for the latest tech news. See you next time.